What is up, everybody? It is another Tuesday. Um, actually, it's Monday, but uh, like I always, I always get my steel books in the mail a day before they release. So the, today we're going to be unboxing the new Ant Man and the and the Wasp steel book, 4K from Best Buy, only at Best Buy. Um, I originally was going to shoot this earlier, but then I realized my mic wasn't turned on, which it is now, thank God. Um, so that's why there's a little bit of a, a slip there, because I was right in the middle of about to open this, and then I realized, hey, oh shit, my mic is not turned on. So I gotta, so I uh, have to reshoot this. I had to reshoot some of it. Anyways, or I'm basically reshooting the whole thing. Uh, anyways, so here we are. I'm going to be doing my review and an unboxing. Um, we'll start with the uh, review while I do the unboxing here. Um... <laughs> So I definitely enjoyed Ant-Man and the Wasp. Um, probably maybe a po a unpopular opinion is I definitely thought it was better than Black Panther. Um, it 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 was it was it was funnier. Not that Black Panther was even trying to be funny to begin with, but this was more light, more had more humor, light-hearted. Um, I think better better 3D. I usually, as I was gonna say, I pretty much see all these movies in 3D. Uh, better 3D. Um, I think just a better. Uh, but I said it's probably Black Panther had a better story, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I, I I just I just I just enjoyed Ant Man and the Wasp more than I did Black Panther. Um, I don't know if I just because I consider it kind of kind of overhyped. Um, it was good. It was just it just it was not as good as as the hype was. Um, but Ant Man and the Wasp, very good movie. It wasn't as good as Avengers, of course, but um, very good. And 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 this this, this takes place during um, Infinity War, which if you see the um, post or er, mid credit scene you'll you'll realize that which when i when i saw when i when i saw this for the first time when i when i saw that mid credit scene i'm like oh shit i was like oh I, I, that blew my mind when i saw it I was like oh my god this you know but i think you kind of knew it was happening at the same time as as infinity war but it it really it really set in when you when you see that mid credit you're like oh shit you're like, oh, what's gonna happen? Which I, you're probably gonna figure out um, when part two comes out or whatever they're gonna call. It. They don't even know what they're gonna call it yet. It's just Avengers four now. Um, but yeah, I I, I I thoroughly enjoyed Ant Man and the Wasp. Very good movie. Very funny moments. Good 3D. Good use of the 3D, um, especially like when they had the. Um, Hello Kitty Pez dispenser, or they were tossing the knives while they were in the kitchen. Those were two very good um, 3D uses of 3D, very good 3D moments. Um, two other moments of very good 3D was when they were when they went into the quantum realm. Oh, that was like, it's like, like they're going into like, it's like, whoa, that was fucking cool. Um, Anyways, yeah, very good movie. Um, ooh, a book up there. Uh, I do have some notes here, so I want to get those, put those back up here. Um, so the the main gist of the movie is you got you know Scott Lang, Ant Man, and Hope Van Dyne, Wasp, who is now the Wasp. Um, the main plot of the movie is that they are trying to see if Hope's mother Janet Van Dyne is still alive which they think is still alive because when um when um or no I don't think it's I don't think that's called the quantum realm I'm trying to I don't I don't know what it's called when they when they get sucked you know they get sucked. I think maybe it is called the quantum realm it's the quantum realm where 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 Scott sees or talks to Janet Van Dyne so they think if they can do it again, they can bring her back, which they do. So, um, the 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 villain of the movie, her name is Ava Starr, 
or ghost. Um, she has this molecular instability, which allows her to basically like walk through walls. Um, and that's kind of why she's called a ghost because she can basically deflect bullets. Um, basically, yeah, allows her to like molecules and stuff to pass. Because since her molecules are unstable, it allows you know bullets to pass through her and her to travel through walls and and all this stuff. Um, usually, the character is depicted as a man. But they kind of wanted to try something different with with this movie, um, and and really the only reason she's a villain is because her um, her uh, her attempts at survival usually clashes with what uh, you know Ant Man and the Wasp are trying to you know basically conflicts with their goals, conflicts, uh, clashes with their goals. Um, but yeah, I definitely thought she was a, a a very a very cool villain. Definitely not one of their their best villains in the Marvel universe. But I thought it was it was pretty cool. And then basically what she has to do, she you know, she commits her crimes, and then she has to go back into this some sort of chamber that is that is um, that basically prevent. While, while she's in this chamber, she doesn't have this issue with her with her molecules getting all crazy and stuff. So, but yeah, basically she commits these crimes so that she can hopefully cure herself. Um, and, and she's being helped by one of, um, I'm trying to think of his name now. Uh, Hank. Um, Hank's old lab partner or something like that. I think he is, um, Lawrence Fishburne, he, I wouldn't say adopts Ava Star, but is helping her, and what they don't realize is they, they try to get his help, but what they don't realize is that he's helping her, and them helping him is helping her, and whatever, whatever. But she... Or what they what she's trying to do is she's trying to cure herself, which is going to cause Janet Van Dyne to possibly die, and they don't want that to happen. So they, well, while they're trying to get Janet Van Dyne back, she's trying to stop this from happening, or basically overtake. I'm trying to remember what happens. Oh, it's been a little while since I've seen the movie, so I kind of forgot what happened. But basically, overtakes. While she's trying to come back from the quantum realm, Ghost is like overtaking her body or something. And if she does that, then basically Janet is dead. And they don't want that to happen. Um, so, and in the meantime, Scott's on house arrest from what happened in Civil War. So he's very limited at what he can do because he's got an anklet bracelet on and he can't really leave, which they later figure that out so that he can. Um, but yeah, pretty much the whole time he's, he's kind of limited at what he can do because he's on house arrest. Um, but yeah, in this one, oh God, I thought there was like a big scratch on the back there. Um, but in this one, she, um, God, I'm so lost. I can't try to remember what I'm talking about now. Um, anyways, it was a good movie. I'm rambling too much now. It was a good movie. Ant-Man and the Wasp. I give it four out of five stars. Definitely better than, um, Black Panther. Not as good as Avengers, but a very funny movie. Good 3D. If you can find a 3D version of this, pick it up. It was very good in 3D. I saw it in 3D and not in 3D, but definitely better in 3D. Um, anyways, let's show the case and get this over with. So luckily there's not a whole lot of gloss on this. It's a nice matte finish, so it's not a bunch of glare coming off of this. So there's the front there. You got Hope Van Dyne, big and going small. And then on the back you got Ant-Man, small, big, big and small. All right, and then let's take a look and see what's on the inside here. So you got the, the 4K disc. Oh yeah, four out of five, and I probably give it a, uh, I give it an A minus score on that too. It was it was very good. I enjoyed it. Um, 
A lot of people are like, oh, you could probably just skip it, which you 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 probably you yeah you probably could skip Ant Man and the Wasp unless yeah unless you really like Ant Man or um you know, unless you have to see every Marvel movie I don't know I um I I thoroughly enjoyed it I I didn't see the first Ant Man until it was on like um Stars or something and just was on one day I'm like I'm gonna check this out and I'm like damn I like this movie it was a really good movie um so yeah Ant Man and the Wasp even Ant Man very good movies. Um, it always seems like Marvel can just take characters that nobody literally knows nobody knows anything about them, never heard of them before, more than likely, make these movies, and they just it, it just seems like every movie that Marvel comes out with is just makes tons of money. I think this was like the seventh biggest opening of the year, um, biggest movie of the year. So it's like even even if even if it's not one of the most popular. Marvel characters, it still makes tons and tons of money. So, so then there we got the the inside. Well, it's gonna be a little bit harder to see with glare, but um, basically, Ant Man and the Wasp jumping into action. So we'll show the the front there again. So there's the Ant Man and the Wasp, and then you got your part in the middle there. And you got your, got your inside. So, yeah. So, anyways, that was my unboxing of Ant Man, uh, unboxing and review of Ant Man and the Wasp. Like I said, four out of five stars, um, a minus score. Definitely a good movie. In my opinion, better than Black Panther. Um, like I said, people will probably not agree with that. Um, but, uh, yeah. I, I definitely enjoyed Ant-Man and the Wasp more than I did Black Panther. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more reviews. I would really appreciate it if you like, comment, subscribe on this video. And I am going to... I am going to be doing a, a mass steel bot, or steel book unboxing here very soon. I have gotten quite a few steel, um, steel books accumulated that I need to open and I will do that I'll do that in a video here very soon so anyways thanks for watching guys thanks for watching my review of Ant-Man and the Wasp and unboxing and stay tuned for more later